everyone. It's time for us to go and take a look at iOS 26 beta, what is it, 8 now, and see how it holds up. Now I installed it on my iPhone 12 Pro, and from what we're seeing, there's not too many crazy big differences from beta 7 to beta 8, and some people are even stating that this could be the last version of iOS 26 that we're probably going to be seeing in terms of a developer beta. Now, if we go and take a look at how big this particular update size was, you can see right here, it was about, I mean, it was a pretty large sized update, 7.66 gigabytes coming from beta seven, which was weird. So I don't know why I had to go through and reinstall the whole entire update. I find that to be a little bit of a weird type of situation. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but it is just a small thing. Now we take a look at what this update basically brought inside of it. You can see this iOS beta gives you an early preview of upcoming apps, features, technologies. Please back up your iPhone before you install the update. No, it's kind of funny they even threw that in there. Now, this update for the most part, from what I can see, is once again, just a bug fix refinement type of update. So this type of update didn't really bring anything super crazy from what I can tell, but it's always good to have these refinement type of updates. If we actually kind of take a look at the calendar, iOS 26 is kind of coming up to its last you know, version. So the betas are probably supposed to be stopping soon, which I'm kind of sad about because I feel like they were just getting started. Probably the second week of iOS of September, we're probably going to be getting iOS 26. So we still have a couple more days before we officially get like the next version of iOS. This might be the last version. We might be getting some sort of RC or public release type of version. So that in and of itself is going to be a very, very interesting thing to see. I do think from what we're seeing, iOS 26, it's getting more stable, but for everyone watching this, I still would not recommend anyone to install this type of update. I think there's going to be lots of issues, lots of bugs. And even when beta one or the official version of iOS 26 comes out, I probably still wouldn't recommend updating. I'd probably recommend staying on iOS 18 for the most part. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.